hi guys welcome back uh, today we will start our lesson 3 okay, and we will learn about if statement and case statement uh, let me explain to you the structure of this project today uh, this is a copy of uh, our template based on our template same to unit and I place one combo box from the tool palette two button and one label and one T memo component okay so let's start first of all i will add one on show event so when this form show to user i want some sort of code should be run so let's add memo message dot clear so what i want it when this function run i want it this memo should be clear there should be no text on the start of this form and I want also clear message okay so what I wanted when uh, this our form start this don't also clear this is equal to this one clear messages so this messages I want also to be clear okay and then I wanted our combo box I give a short name to our combo box if you click it you will see the name cmb car make okay so this is a short name combo box car make dot index and i want it at the start it should be zero okay mostly is is minus one okay so i want it it should be uh, zero okay and then i want okay so the second thing is right now our combo box have no item inside i want to add some item so i added five car volkswagen toyota and others so now this is become item of the combo box so when if we select it's zero the first item will be selected okay and let's make it mi minus one okay so when this form will be start automatically it will set this minus one to zero okay and the second thing i want it if user change this combo box i want a change event i want label to dot text CMB car text plus okay so this plus sign we use when we want to uh, concatenate two string or we want to join two string so what I'm going to do it I want to write uh, a string between so this this will be the uh, this dot text mean so whatever it written inside i want it to write here plus i want it index okay and i want index number so instead of this one i want So this item index is in integer. So to attach to the text, we need to convert it to string. So int to str, it means string. Okay, uh, let's run this one and let's see if it's working as we love, we want it. Okay, so what we want it, we want to call these procedures after we set it our index to zero. So let's take this one and put it to self so self is a keyword like it's a sender okay so t object is a sender so we want it this procedure uh, manage itself so uh, instead of uh, text it's a caption uh, so 
okay let's start our you see this one it's select the Volkswagen and index is zero so if I select it will be Toyota index one okay and Lexis index two okay let's close this one and go back to our code and let's write our other piece of code so if statement okay I want if CMB car make dot item index is equal to zero then begin and and end okay so what I want it I want to create a procedure separate procedures procedures called get byte data and it will accept uh, two parameters a uh, offset this will be an integer and the other will be proc name and that will be string so first time we writing a procedure we will accept two parameters so whenever any procedure want to call this procedure it, it must supply two parameters one is integer then other is a string so begin and end okay so uh, let's uh, declare what variable here called var name and let's give the name let's assign the value to this variable so it will be inside if statement so we will call if statement okay okay and now you see get byte byte data and when we will say give him dollar zero zero and the proc name okay so now inside our combo box we have five cars so if Volkswagen will be selected we want to select this address and uh, same others like if it will be one so let's say else if mm, let's copy this one okay and paste here remove and this one this one this one okay so zero and this will be one this will be two three and four okay and in this will be also one two three and four so this will be the end of our procedures okay and uh, let's uh, let first uh, assign here we say memo message dot lines we want to add a line and add text so this this uh, require us as string inside parentheses so we need to add parentheses okay and okay so first we will uh, we will whatever the whatever the procedure will call he need to provide two things offset and the proc name so like this proc name will be go here and this will be come here so proc uh, pro name and the second thing is memo 
message dot lines dot add and uh, we need to provide a okay so of set and so we use this plus sign to concatenate to string means uh, to join a string so i want this offset so what i want it so i want it a line added in our memo so which show which address we select and what data we get it from that address okay so this is an integer so because this line is only accept a string so we need to convert this integer into string so integer to str str okay and then plus sign and then we need to add data so this will be data whatever we get it from that address and then again plus sign to what i'm doing it this is one string this is another string this is string so i'm adding a string by using this plus sign okay uh, means jointing a string so and now we what we need to call a yupa pro procedure is k call its name is get byte byte hex added okay so it's a need a offset i will provide offset okay and okay so this offset will be uh, written in term of uh, byte okay but we want to add to a string this procedure only need a string uh, let me show you if i close this parenthesis and try to run the procedure i will get an error this is run Uh, you see this one we get error okay uh, our ide didn't complain about it but on the run time we get an error so what we need to do we need to convert this one same as we did in the last chapter integer to x okay and then it need to okay and the second parameter integer to hex it's need how many digit we want we want two digit okay so okay so this will get our uh, data from this whatever the address we will provide and this procedure will convert that data into a string okay means integer to hex in a string way okay let's do it now so it is bring us ff and if we select theta it bring it aa that's one okay and if we select lexis index 2 okay and it will bring 12 okay so this is working let's now write our case statement same what we will do it we will copy this one to save time and instead of this will be case statement okay so case is written like that word case we will take same i come back item index and we will say off and then is uh, end okay and so here will be 0 1 2 3 and 4 so here okay so what we say what we are trying to say we saying if 
index is 0 then run this one if index is 1 this one okay so this way we will say begin and we will write same this one okay and and this will be end. okay so let me copy this one and then we will change the address okay so this is zero one two and four okay so what we are trying to say here we say case index if index is zero then run this statement if one run this statement okay and we are we are pointing to the same procedure we want it when user click on this button if the index of the combo box is let's say one we want it this address uh, will send to this procedure and we will get the appropriate data here let's run it okay so we paste the data so let's say we select uh, address 2 so which mean the 12 should be here okay so if offset is uh, why the offset is 32 it should be one minute because uh, what the offset which we are getting this is we are getting in 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 base 10 integer okay we want it also the hex okay because actually this was 32 if you calculate i will tell you it was actually 32 so 16 and 16 32 so i mean 0 15 then this 15 uh, 31 and this is actually 32 in in a numbers okay but in hex it's we called it 20 okay so that's why that was coming 32 so if i select 2 so if statement no it's give me uh, give us in hex way the address in a hex that's what we wanted so data is 12 there and if we click case it's also give us the same data there is nothing changed okay so not no 3 it will be uh, address 30 and data 30 also and same here okay let's talk about why we want to use if statement and case statement so uh, writing a case statement is very long code let's say if we have a 50 indexes we need to write 50 if statements on other hand writing case statement is more elegant as compared to if statement and if you read the documentation of case statement refer to the pascal or delphi documentation so you will see that the if uh, this case statement is more elegant and efficient means it's run faster than the if statement so when we have long if statement if possible if the data is a structural way what is the meaning of structural way Let, let's say this index is 0 1 2 3 4 5 or let's say a case can only be also we can work a to z case also can be work on to 1 to 10 1 to 100 or uh, like uh, tuesday to sunday or means saturday to sunday so me this is a structure so you uh, this this case can understand that structure and it can see what we are uh, what case we are taking and it can uh, run that statement accordingly a maintaining case is more easy than maintaining an if statement we need if statement also but if if the statement is very long then uh, think about writing a case statement as compared to if statement in the coding okay that is more elegant and efficient and faster to use it okay anyway thank you so much for watching this uh, uh, tutorial uh, the uh, source code of this example i will put in the description of the video please uh, comment uh, your feedback and uh, like and subscribe and share the video with your friends okay